This is a castle built by a Lego noob. This is a castle built by a Lego master. This video will show you the steps you can take to build an amazing Lego castle. Castles have been part of Lego since 1978 in Europe and 1981 in the United States. Since that time, Lego has produced tons of different castles with lots of different factions. There's even a popular castle faction included in the latest minifigure series. Over the years, LEGO has improved upon their castle designs using a few different strategies. There are also lots of master builders out there creating castle mocks that really take LEGO castles to the next level. We've got 10 tips to share with you that can instantly improve your castle build. 1. Start with inspiration. Before you even dump out your bricks, you need to have an idea of what you want to build. You can start by sketching your build like they sometimes do on the LEGO Masters TV show. Or you can look online for pictures of castles. You don't have to look at only LEGO castles. And you don't have to pick only one. Take ideas from several different images to create your own design. We recommend gathering lots of ideas for your design. You might not end up using all of your initial ideas in your final build, but if you have a few extra ideas in mind before you start, you'll be able to adapt your build based on your available bricks. 2. Add color. When you think Lego castle, most people think black, gray, or yellow? That's because most Lego castles are usually neutral tones, but the best castles always come with a little color. We're not saying you have to use bright colors for the walls of your castle, but adding a blue or red roof can add a lot to your build. You can also add color using various decorations like flags, torches, or plants. Remember, if you don't have accessories, you can always make decorations using your own bricks. Pay attention to the colors that you find in your inspiration. Think of how you can create those same colors in your own design. 3. Design the ground around your castle. Pay close attention to the space around your castle. You can improve your build a hundredfold. Use small circle tiles of varying colors to add a cobblestone entryway. Don't forget the small plants and vegetation for your castle. This includes the plants and vines that climb your castle walls. You can use bricks with snot, studs not on top, to attach your vines. Add a moat or even just a small water feature like a fountain or a water wheel. Don't forget to use minifigures surrounding your castle to give it life. Make sure to include small medieval carts and goods that really tell a story about the people living near your castle. These details can be what sets your castle apart from others. 4. Use inverted slopes at the top of your castle. Most castles you see have towers at the top. That's for the archers to shoot the badins down below. If you look at pictures of old castles, you'll notice a lot of these towers stick out just a scooch. To create that same effect with LEGO, use inverted slopes in your build. An inverted slope is a piece that increases in size from the bottom to the top. They call this an inverted slope because it's the opposite of a slope, which goes down the opposite way. There are lots of types of inverted slopes you can use. These are pretty simple to add to your castle towers. Just add them right before a platform. For added aesthetics, you can use an archway at the top of the slopes. Then you get this really cool effect that you see in a lot of old castle pictures. And add hinges for better playability. You'll find that LEGO includes hinges on a lot of their castle builds. Not only does this allow you to change the profile of the castle, it also allows you to open up the castle so you can actually play inside with your minifigures. This isn't a new concept either. Here's a set from 1990. These hinges are pretty simple, but still allow for more playability. The hinges also enable you to put multiple instances of the set together to create an even bigger castle. LEGO still does this with their castles today. This set looks amazing from the outside, but with hinges, you can open it up to see all the details on the inside, and you have so much more fun playing with your minifigures. When you add your hinges, make sure you always put them on the bottom and on the top for stability. You may even want to add a hinge in the middle if you are building a really big castle. 6. Secret Entrance Let's be honest, a secret entrance is always cool. Building a secret entrance to your castle only adds to the fantasy. You can use hinge pieces to create a custom door directly on your castle wall. But your secret entrance doesn't have to be on the outside of the castle either. You can make an entire secret room to hold your treasure. Or you can make a secret way out of the castle that was created by the prisoners. 7. Use modified bricks on your castle walls. When you look at pictures of old castles, you'll notice they are almost never the same color all the way through. You can recreate that effect by making sure your castle walls are not perfectly flat. Use textured bricks to create a rough exterior. Don't use the same color all the way through your bricks. You can alternate the various gray colors in your castle. You can even use some greens to simulate moss growing on the side of the wall. Even if your castle has a few holes or protrusions, you'll be okay. This is especially helpful if you don't have enough bricks of the same color type. 8. Add rooms. 
Giving life to the inside of your castle can make it way more fun to play with. Think about the different rooms that could exist in an old castle. A throne room, a treasure room, dungeons, a great hall for eating. If you're not sure what to build, try looking up some more inspiration. Look at all the great examples of dungeons that we found. Now we just need to choose which one fits our build best, or which build includes pieces we already have in our LEGO collection. All the rooms in your castle will make playing with your castle lots of fun. It will also make your castle more popular for other people. These little details are the things that make some LEGO sets the most popular. 9. Make it modular. Modular LEGO sets are builds that can easily be combined with other builds. A good example are the modular city buildings from LEGO. These sets are made in a way that you can put them together really easily. This way of module building also works pretty well for castle building. You could build a watchtower that connects to a gatehouse. Add a few more of these watchtowers and castle walls and now you have an entire castle. One trick to making modular designs is to use Technic bricks on the bottom of plates to connect parts. You could also use modular design to create all the different buildings in your medieval kingdom. 10. Use small bricks. Adding a lot of detail to your castle is what will make it look awesome. Larger bricks aren't bad, but they prevent you from adding in small details like hooks to hold accessories, textures on your walls, studs not on top to build in multiple directions. Including details like this in your build is much easier if you are building your castle using 1x1, one 1x2, one, one 1x3, one and 1x4 one bricks. Using larger bricks like these 1x16s creates a lot of space that can be used for small details. That's not to say that you should never use large bricks. Larger bricks are great for tying in your build and making it more stable, but you don't want to fall into the trap of using larger bricks for the sake of making your build larger at a quicker rate. Thanks for watching. Bye!